Now, one of the most often asked questions on the Genius3 forums is how do you get access to Cisco images, including Cisco Viral images? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Cisco Viral images as well as Cisco iOS images. Now, let me warn you from the beginning. You need the right authorization and the right contracts to do this. So please don't dislike this video because I'm telling you the legal way to get software. Neither I nor GNS3 can provide Cisco images to you. Some vendors, such as Cumulus and Arista, make their software available for free. You don't have to pay for it, you can simply download a trial license. But for some of the Cisco images, you will need to buy a license to use it. So as an example, the recommendation today is to use Cisco ASAV, Cisco iOS V Layer 2, Cisco iOS V. Those are viral images, which you have to have a license for. Other software such as a 7200 image or a 3660 image can be downloaded directly from the Cisco website if you have an agreement in place with Cisco. So as an example, if you work for a Cisco partner, you'll be able to download the images. So again, due to legal requirements, you have to purchase your own licenses. But here I'm gonna show you how to download an image from Cisco Viral, as well as the Cisco software portal. So let's get started. In the GNS3 documentation, there is a section called which emulator should I use? There's a discussion firstly whether you should use the GNS3 VM or not. The recommendation is that you do for most cases unless you are creating a basic GNS3 topology using a Cisco iOS image and a local Dynamips install. In other words, all you're gonna use is the GUI and not the GNS3 VM. Now for Cisco, you have choices. You can select Dynamips, which requires a Cisco iOS image, or you can use QMU and specifically use viral images such as the iOS V Layer 2 and iOS V images, as well as ASA V. This is the recommendation. It's recommended that you use QMU and with Cisco that you use viral images. I'll show you in a moment how to download those. IOU is a Cisco internal way of running iOS on Unix. It's not publicly released. You can't get support from Cisco for this. It's also difficult to install and configure. So the GNS3 recommendation is that you don't use IOU. It's not officially released by Cisco. It's buggy, it's difficult to configure, and Cisco doesn't support it. If you want a stable platform and officially released Cisco images, GNS3 recommend that you use QMU and the Cisco iOS images. So I'll show you now how to download a viral image, and then I'll show you where to get iOS images. So Julian has pointed to this tweet from the viral team showing you that you can download all Cisco virtual machine images through your viral account by clicking on this link. That link is the following, and I'll add it below this video so that you can go directly to that link. That'll take you to your viral account. Now this is my account. I've paid for a viral license, so now I can click on Download Viral. And that allows me to download various images such as iOS V, iOS V Layer 2, or ASA V. So as an example, if I want the ASA image, I simply click on the download link, agree to the Cisco terms, and download the image. So I'm going to accept the license agreement, and now my viral image is downloaded. A warning about the site, it's quite slow. So in this example, I'm gonna download an iOS V Layer 2 image, click on the download link, agree to the license, and the image will be downloaded. Now, if your account doesn't give you those images, you need to purchase a viral license. 
I cannot legally provide you with an image and neither can GNS3. You need to purchase your own license. And once you've done that, you'll be able to log into your account and download the Cisco viral images. Okay, so for Cisco iOS images, if you wanna use Dynamips, which is an older way of doing it, you can use Cisco iOS images. Once again, it is better to use viral, but perhaps you want a lightweight implementation of GNS3 and you wanna use a Cisco iOS image. Now this document, Cisco iOS images for Dynamips gives a lot of good information, including important points to remember. Only 7200 series routers support newer iOS images. Other platforms are end of life and support iOS 12.4. So if you want iOS version 15, you should use iOS V, a viral image, or a 7200 series router. The recommended images are 3640, 3660, 3725, 3745, and 7200 series images. And they listed here in the document. So try and get one of these images. Others are shown here, including 1700s and 2600s. But as an example, you could use a 3640 image or a 3660 image. In my example here, I'm gonna telnet to a router. This is a real physical router and it's running a version of Cisco iOS. So show flash shows me the version of iOS. So this is a real image from a real router that I could use in GNS3. But the best place to go for software is Cisco's website and download software from software.cisco.com. I'll put to the link below the video. So in this example, I've selected the downloads home, products, iOS, Nexus OS software, iOS, 12.4, mainline routers, service provider edge routers, and 7200. And when I select 7206 as an example, I can select Cisco iOS images, and I'll be able to download them from the Cisco website. Again, you need the rights to download the software as an example. You need a service contract to download software from Cisco's website. So again, on Cisco's website, I went to Downloads Home, Products, iOS, and Nexus OS software, selected iOS. I chose 12.4, Mainline, Routers, Service Provider Edge Routers, 7200, and selected the 7206. Selected iOS, and that allows me to download router images, assuming, again, that I have a service level agreement. So for the 7200 series routers, only the 7206 is supported. And you could use iOS 15 mainline or 12.4 mainline or 12.4 technology train. Recommended images, again, are 3640, 3660, 3725, 3745, and 7200. But the best way to go is to purchase a viral license and use viral images. But if you don't wanna purchase a viral license and you've got a service contract with Cisco, you could download an image directly from Cisco's website. If you don't have a service level agreement, however, as in this example, you won't be able to download the image. So you need to contact Cisco and purchase an image. I hope you found the video useful. If you enjoyed it, please like it, but please don't dislike the video because I'm telling you that you have to purchase software from Cisco. That is the legal requirement. Other vendors will allow you to download their software without paying for it. So as an example, you could run a Rista in GNS3 with no licensing, no payment, and the same is true for Cumulus and others. It's a Cisco requirement, however, that you purchase your iOS image or purchase a viral license.